What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So I wanted to give you guys a little update when it comes to this EasyGo electric 36-volt golf cart. So I bought it over the winter. I converted this golf cart from a 6-volt six battery set up to three 12-volt batteries. Now, we've been using it, and I can tell you that I have zero issues with the battery. I am using the stock EasyGo uh, charger, and it's actually charging right now. Now, one of the things that I don't do is I don't charge it every time I use it, which you actually you're supposed to. Um, that way you keep the batteries nice and charged, and also it's healthy for the batteries to get charged at a level where they're not fully depleted. The only thing I can tell you is you can use this charger, and right above the C6 Corvette there, there is a marine three-bank charger that I also use. That one is a lot better because that's a smart charger and it charges each individual battery separately versus this charges all three batteries or all six batteries if this was a original setup at the same time. Now, here's the thing. This here is not a smart charger, okay? This is an old easy go charger and it works off amps, okay? So it basically puts a load on the batteries and when your amps reach basically, you know, five or four, it shuts off. And it does work, meaning that when I start it, you have a setting here off, start, and then basically it's a, um, you know, a, a timer uh, on here. And usually if like well, right now they're just under 37 volts, so that is like 70-ish percent charge it'll shut off after two hours and it does work but one thing that definitely happens if you keep using the stock charger is you will overcharge your outer banks meaning that the positive the first battery in series and then also the negative side and when i say overcharge normally if you use a trickle charger or a smart charger you'll be right around 14 and a half 14.7 volts um, when you use this style charger on a three 12 volt battery conversion, you, what's basically what's going to happen is the first and the last battery, um, in series will get overcharged. When I say overcharged, they'll reach 15.25. So you definitely want to keep a close eye on your acid or water levels in each battery. And I do that every month or a couple of times a month. I'll pop the caps off and make sure that everything is still Basically, the battery cells are covered in water. I haven't topped it off yet. I do have a gallon of distilled water, so it's been working fine. Now, on three batteries, as I've mentioned before, you get about 11 to 12 miles. Um, I do have two more batteries, which should put me close to 20 miles on the charge, which is awesome. The golf cart is still stuck. Uh, stock tires, stock motor, everything is stuck about it. Only thing that, that I need to do at this point is replace that bushing, which I have, which is steering wheel column bushing, all four shocks, and then dump the axle fluid, which I'll do next week. Um, out of the axle, it's just straight 30 weight oil. Uh, reseal it, because I've been waiting for weather, obviously, to get decent, because what you want to do is there's no gasket. They just use silicone or a gasket maker. So when I drop it, I'm going to clean off the pan, um, and then reseal it, let it sit overnight, and then fill um, the straight 30 uh, axle fluid back in. And then from there, I do need to work on the brakes. The brakes are a little funky. I mean, they work, but they're a little soft. So I'll either have to adjust them or replace the brakes, um, which is not a big deal. But overall, you know, like I said, uh, it gets decent mileage um, as it sits. Uh, there's actually a fourth battery in it running the LED lights front and rear, also the sound system. Um, everything works like it should. The top speed on this thing is about 14, 15 miles an hour. If we end up keeping this golf cart, I will take the motor out probably at the end of the season and ship it out to Plum Quick to basically beef up the motor and without controllers or any added electronics, it will achieve roughly about three more miles per hour. Uh, of course, if I switch to a taller tire, which would require a lift, which I don't want to do, um, you'll get a couple more miles per hour, but it will also put more load on the batteries as well, obviously. So, you know, that's kind of the trade-off. You're either going to gain speed 
or you're going to gain range. And that's the kind of the fine line when it comes to electric golf carts. So anyway, um, yeah, as far as the conversion goes, if you do go to a 312-volt system or a 412-volt system, if you have a 48-volt golf cart, you can still use the original charger. Just keep an eye on the battery levels, um, and you'll be fine. But overall, this is a great little golf cart. I do like the roof, the windshield, all that stuff. And, um, you know, these golf carts here, if you buy them right, um, you can always sell them for what you got into it like i said you know everything that i did to it i did myself like the front seats were reupholstered by me um to match the the rear seat that came with the golf cart and you know the sound system and all that stuff the rear view mirror just all these little things that are very super cheap but yet they make a big difference if you're actually going to either a use it or b sell it because that's what people want all right talk to you guys later